we've got to begin this postgame show with what happened with about 10 seconds to go in the game. UConn gets a three from Nika Mule to cut the lead to 70-69. They get the ball back. They've got a chance to win the game, and they call an offensive foul on Aaliyah Edwards, and I'm just going to go on the record. That was an Awful. absolutely brutal call Awful. at any point in the game, but in that point in particular, how you make that call right there, it just is mind-boggling. Uh, I don't know. There were questionable calls throughout, and they were letting them play. I think that's the frustrating part. I'm okay letting you play if, if, if it's even on both sides, right? But at this point in the game, you're going to call a moving screen or a hit on the screen. That I, I just think Gabby Marshall was doing a good job kind of selling that, but that is not something you call to decide a game at that point. If she, like, really moved over, if she really elbowed her. I mean, that was not the call to end this game. I think that's really disappointing. I think that is unbelievable. Played a game of this magnitude. Yeah. A chance to go to the national championship game, take on South Carolina in a couple of days to make that call. And that was a play that was certainly designed. You saw Paige look at a work off a screen there and get that ball in her hands. It yeah. looked like that was how it was designed there. Yeah, and you saw, I mean, Iowa, 10 for 14 from the free throw line. Three for four for UConn. So I, Iowa had the edge going to the line, and it, it just it was a little frustrating. But you can't – you know what? Here's the thing, Gare. You don't want it to come down to that, right? You want to make sure that earlier in the game you make shots or you make better decisions. It's a shame it had to come down to that because they did have a 12-point lead at one point. So it's a shame it had to come down to that particular play.